Hi guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. So today we have the 24th of December, which means tonight it's going to be Christmas Eve and our toilet is still not finished and we still do not have our Christmas tree downstairs. <laughs> so yesterday the guy who's uh, redoing our toilet called in the morning and because it was pouring he said, look, uh, I could come, but he has only a motorcycle, he doesn't have a car and it's quite a ride to our home from the place where he lives. So he said, you know, what about I'll come tomorrow in the morning and finish up in the morning. So he said, yeah, of course, because I mean, it was really pouring and it was so dangerous to drive on a bike or a motorcycle yesterday. So we said, no problem. So today in the morning, he came quite early as promised and he started finishing up. And when he was mounting the toilet, he found out that it's really difficult to uh, connect it to the wall because it's not standard size, which we already knew and he knew, but he thought he had all the pieces but when he was putting it up, he found out that he will still need some additional piece. So right now he went to the store and hopefully they're gonna have it so that he can finish up. But he did a test and um, the toilet is working, but I really hope that he'll be able to finish. Here we have my today's outfit. So I am wearing this super old long off-white sweater or hecky bear white sweater as I like calling this color. I really like the way it looks. It has a different knitting pattern here on the top and on the sleeves. So it looks kind of like lace. Um, and it's ruffled here because it's actually a maternity sweater. <laughs> I'm not pregnant, but I really like the way it looks. And it's a sweater I had for at least seven years now and it still looks so pretty. I love wearing it with either skinny jeans or uh, leggings or jeggings. So today I'm wearing jeggings. Uh, I made these myself. Tutorial is on my DIY channel, so I will link it down below. And I am wearing socks that I knitted myself. I made these this year in Croatia, so that's been one of the first pairs of socks I made. I'm so proud of them. And today I'm wearing this tiki necklace. It's a Maori necklace the kids of our neighbors brought for me from New Zealand last year when they were visiting family. I love the boys so much. I talked about them a few times on my channel. They sometimes come over just to visit me. Sometimes we are DIYing stuff. Sometimes we are watching films or just chatting or I'm reading books to them and I just love spending my time with them. They are such sweet boys. And not so long ago, we found out that they are going to move out because uh, they bought a house. It's gonna be next to a forest. So it's gonna be amazing for the kids. So I am super happy for them. But at the same time, I'm so sad they are going to move out because I love the kids. I call them my little chickens and my rascals and they always giggle when I call them that and hug me. They're just so sweet. So I'm definitely gonna miss them. I cried when I heard the news. But again, I'm, I'm super happy for them because uh, their, um, the quality of their life is definitely gonna increase being away from the city, but still quite close. And we of course started thinking like, who's gonna move in? And recently we heard some amazing news. So there's the second family we also like and are friends with. They have a small boy and a little girl and they are both super sweet and their parents are amazing, really great people. And we found out that this family sold their flat and they are going to move into the flat next to us instead of our current neighbors. So we were so happy to hear that, that no strangers are gonna move in and especially that it's gonna be this particular family because they are so amazing. So last time when I've seen the mom on the street, we started beaming at each other and the kids were greeting me and we automatically hugged each other and I was like, hey, future neighbor, that's so amazing. And she said, also, they're so happy. Um, because the, the yard that they will have now is gonna be so great for the kids and they're also happy to be next to someone who's actually reasonable. So it's gonna be great. And I hope that we are going to stay in touch with our current neighbors because they are really very nice people. And again, I love the boys so much. So I would love to see them grow up. Uh, anyway, today I had to think of the boys because right now they are visiting their family in New Zealand again. And so I had to put on the necklace so that they are kind of with me. 
But here we have the most important one on my channel, and that is Mr. Hercules. Hi, Hecky Bear. How are you doing today? Am I annoying you? Well, don't worry. You can keep on sleeping a little bit because mommy has to go to the store shortly. I forgot something. And then we are going to go for a walk because it's really nice outside. It's almost sunny. The sun is very often peeking through. The sky is mostly blue. What a wonderful day. So my first stop is going to be at a dense supermarket. I want to buy myself some tempeh for tonight's dinner because I'll be making Beyond Burgers for Josh, our son, who is coming over for Christmas and for Jack. But I would much rather have tempeh because for whatever reason I don't like the mock meat so much anymore. So that's gonna be definitely a better option for myself. And fortunately I just arrived. They are open because I forgot to check. I got my tempeh. I also got a nice box with vegan Christmas cookies because I did not have uh, uh, any time to make more than just um, gingerbread men and I would like to give uh, to the guy who is redoing a toilet uh, a nice box of cookies so I bought that I also bought myself a facial cream I'll show you everything when I'm gonna be at home and that's basically gonna be it because since they had the facial cream also there I don't have to go to the drugstore so I hope I don't have to go to the uh, to any store till at least next week or something like that Here we have the cosmetics that I brought from the organic supermarket. So I recently discovered this black soap with activated charcoal. So up till now I've been using the black soap called Cold Face from Lush. And then I've seen this one and I thought, you know what, why not try something similar from a different brand. So that's what I bought. And this is a anti-aging lifting cream from the brand La Vera, which is a cruelty free and uh, like cruelty free brand and they have many vegan products that's what I'm trying to say um, that is going to replace my regular facial cream so these were my skincare products so far so we have here the soap cold face from Lush um, when it's gonna be used up I will try the new one and I'll see if I like it if not I can always go back to this one because this is really amazing it works so great for my skin then I have here uh, my facial tonic with healing clay then the moisturizer from the same line and then I have here this Q10 serum and an eye moisturizer and recently I have noticed that my skin kind of looked I don't know it looked like it could use a little boost yeah that that's the best description so instead of uh, using this serum I tried this serum from the brand La Vera it costs more but I have to say it made a huge difference even Jax noticed that there's something different about my skin it looks firmer especially my cheeks they don't look so melted anymore so this works way better apparently so i thought you know what let's try also their eye moisturizer because honestly long term i wasn't so happy with this eye moisturizer i always felt like this is not moisturizing enough what a wonderful way to describe it so i thought since i already like the serum so much why not try the eye moisturizer from the same line so i bought this eye moisturizer and i have to say it is definitely better than the one that i used so far and since i really like the eye moisturizer and the serum so much i thought you know what this moisturizer is about to be empty pretty soon so i'm going to try now also the moisturizer from the same product line and i'll see if i like it i will definitely keep you updated on my instagram account which is by the way linked down below and since i'm standing here in my bathroom i thought it's about time to do 
a little bathroom perch. So I'm gonna turn the camera and I will show you what I'm gonna throw away because some of the products have been standing and sitting there for so long, some are even expired and they just need to go. So let's start over here. So this styling foam needs to go because I haven't been using it ever since I grew out my pixie. Next I have here this chapstick and this has been used up so I'm gonna dispose of the packaging. Then I have here an expired lip gloss. I like the color but to be honest it's also right now a little bit too light the color because I have a lip permanent makeup and the color of my lips is now a little bit darker and when I put this over it it looks kind of weird. I have here a blush that I will never use because I don't like the color. Then I have here a bronzy like blush but it just doesn't look good on me and it's pretty old so it has to go too. I have here powder that I'm not gonna use because I stopped using foundation and anything that covers my skin. Uh, this needs to go too but that's pretty new so I'm gonna put it to the side. I have here this so-called silly sponge that was one of the silicone makeup sponges I found at Sucks. Bye. I don't even know what that is. Goodbye. Old lip gloss definitely expired. I have here eyeshadows from Estee Lauder which is not cruelty free. I kept them for a while because that was a present that I got before I went vegan but I never really used them. Uh, I mean these are really nice colors. Uh, but since I don't wear eyeshadows anymore, um, I have absolutely sorry. I have absolutely no use for that. The color of the blush doesn't really look good on my complexion, so I'm I'm gonna put them to the side because they're so nice. Here I have two lip products from Little Rabbit Cosmetics, but they are expired, so I will throw them away. I have here the powder foundation in the shade Porcelain from Lily Lolo. It's a really nice product, nice shade, but I'm not wearing foundation anymore, so I will put it here to the still good stack. Next I have here a few eyeshadows from Little Rabbit that I want to get rid of because again I'm not wearing any eyeshadows anymore. So I have here also two eyeshadow shades from Alverde. They are really beautiful, but I don't see myself using eyeshadows again. Um, basically, all of my eyeshadows have to go and I will keep only these two from Bleach London because these are shades I can see myself maybe wearing. <laughs> Somehow I don't, uh, but should I really, really feel strongly about putting on eyeshadows, that would be the shades I would want to because I always loved uh, neutral shades and in the last years before I stopped wearing makeup I liked only matte eyeshadows so I will keep these and the rest of my palettes and eyeshadows has to go. Next I have here a mascara that's already pretty dry and also expired. I already bought a replacement because that's my favorite mascara. It's by the brand Catrice. It's called um, False Lashes Mascara and of course it's cruelty free and vegan. Then I have here a highlighter pen that's in the middle, the pink one that's definitely expired because I had it for so many years. And I have here a um, corrector for nail polish but since I don't wear nail polish, I haven't, wear, I haven't been wearing nail polish for a long time. I will just get rid of it. Here we have expired concealer that has to go. I have here a foundation that I will never ever wear again and it's probably also expired. It's by the brand Catrice. Um, it was a nice foundation, I really liked it. There we have another one, it's a BB cream from Gosh. I really like that one. And then I have here an eyeliner that I used for my Black Swan costume this year. I think I'm gonna keep that one because that should be alright in case I would want to go as Black Swan next Halloween again. I have here the Glamandol Boost Lash Growth Mascara. Um, yeah, it was a nice mascara but um, I didn't think that it was super special and it's already pretty dry because I had it for a while so that needs to go. All these lip liners have to go. 
This matte lipstick with the lip liner I have to go. This color just does not look good on me. I have here this transparent mascara from Alverde uh, that I wanted to use on my eyebrows and on my lashes just to style them, but it sucks because it doesn't style anything. Like uh, nothing stays in place, so that has to go too. This perfume has to go, but not because I wouldn't like it. I actually love the scent, but unfortunately the the hat with the spray, like with the dispenser, doesn't work. And for me, there is no way how to how I could get it out. So I will get rid of this. More old eyeshadows. And there we have some golden eyeshadows. There's no way I would use these. There we have eyeshadows that I used to like very much. These used to be my favorite eyeshadows because, again, it's a neutral look, but I'm not gonna use this anymore. Then I have here a blush that's expired and I have here, again, some eyeshadows in a shade that I didn't even like. It looked better when I swatched them, but when I used them, they just sucked on me. And I have here these lip products from BH Cosmetics. They look pretty disgusting and I'm not gonna use them, so goodbye. I have here these eyeshadow palettes that I put together. I honestly don't think that they are the greatest quality, but they still look pretty decent. The purple color is almost used up because I used that one a lot when I had my lavender hair. But I think I'm gonna put them to this stack with all the products that are still good. And I will also add this eyeshadow palette, the nudes from Trend It Up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these brushes uh, because I clearly don't need them anymore. I think I'm gonna keep the blush brush and I will clean all these. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know what to do with these. Well, there's some pencil that I'm not gonna use away with it. Probably already super dry eyeliner. Bye. There I have a lip liner. I am gonna keep that one. Here I have some more palettes that I wanna get rid of, but these go to the stack. Still good. So some of the places look considerably emptier, which is good because I have these reusable cotton pads or like bamboo pads and they don't fit in the dispenser. So I thought I might actually stack them in these compartments, but I have to clean that first. Uh, but that's something I don't want to do today. I'm going to do it like after Christmas. I actually also decided to get rid of the first Carly Bible palette. I loved this palette so much and you can clearly see which colors were my favorite, but it doesn't look good anymore. So that has to go too. Ooh, I found some more stuff. So we have here also some brushes I want to get rid of and this stuff that was hidden in a box. That's a lot of trash. Well, and now I have here all these palettes and eyeshadows and brushes and sponges and whatnot. And I want to get rid of this. I mean, this is obviously all used cosmetics, but I've been always using fresh brushes because anytime I put on my makeup, I wash the brushes so they were always clean. And I also sprayed every single palette with disinfection. So if any one of you guys wants this, let me know in the comments and I will pick a random person from those who will say that they want it, even though, I, I don't know, like, does anyone even want to use cosmetics? But I just feel it's such a waste to just throw this away. And if any of you would feel like, hey, I could still use this, I'd be very, very happy to pack this and ship it to you, no matter where, like worldwide. So it's the second Carly Bible palette. Then we have here this um, uh, 28 Colors Essential Eyes from BH Cosmetics. I have here these must-haves that I put together myself, the nude colors, some of the Alverde and Little Rabbit eyeshadows, the porcelain foundation, then the Estee Lauder. I have here this palette with so many colors. I think they are really great quality. Um, so you have here more like neutral tones and natural tones and then there's this layer with the pastel tones. And uh, then we have here several brushes. I will clean them properly. These sponges haven't been used yet. Neither was this one. 
and these two sponges they are unused and then i have here the naked two palette and i have here this blush and i think this is um an eyeshadow or a highlighter it's an eyeshadow i have here also falsies a little unused sponge and a travel case with makeup brushes i don't think i even used these and if i did then probably only once now all these three boxes are gonna be empty which means i'll be able to put in something else like some of my sewing supplies so the room is going to be a little bit better organized I will of course have to go through the back and see what I can recycle before I throw it away. So we have a separate bin for plastic and for metal and yeah, the rest will have to go to the regular trash. This looks all so much nicer. It's not so crowded anymore and it looks way better organized again. I'm really happy. So now let's have a look at the makeup that I kept. So I have here several blushes. I'm using mostly this one on daily basis, that's from BH Cosmetics. It was called Fiji Fun. I don't like the dark color so much, but this pink shade is so beautiful. I have here also two matte blushes from the brand Essence, which is a European cruelty-free brand, and these are also vegan. I have here the pale pink blush Discordia from Little Rabbit, that's so beautiful. Um, in the summer it's too pale, but in winter it's perfect and it prevents me from over blushing, which I'm usually doing. I have here also this brush, uh, not brush, blush. I'm not sure if this is vegan, but I know that the brand is cruelty free and I got this one many years ago from a friend and I just want to use it up. Then I have here the foundation from Little Rabbit in the shade Vanilla. I don't think I'm gonna wear it again, but just in case. I also kept the highlighter from the same brand and their concealer, just in case I would have some pimples I would want to cover up. I have here a highlighter from the brand Trend It Up. Uh, then I have here these two eyeshadows that I already uh, spoke about from Bleach London. I have here also a cream white eyeshadow from Little Rabbit and Essence because sometimes I like highlighting my brow bone and these shades are perfect. And then I have here this blush palette from BH Cosmetics. So this is my favorite shade. I'm wearing this one today. And I also like the peachy shade and sometimes one of these. The brown and orangish, like really orangey shades, not so my case. Uh, but some of the colors are really lovely. Over here I have my eyebrow gels. So the one from Trend It Up used to be my favorite eyebrow gel of all times, but sadly it's been discontinued. Uh, so I had to try something new. So I tried this one, the brown one from Essence. It's a little bit too dark for me, so I swapped to the lighter shade. But I'm kind of mixing these two uh, right now, but in future I will use only the lighter shade because again, this one is too dark. And then I have here a transparent mascara just for my eyebrows and my lashes when I want to style them. I kept red matte lipstick from BH Cosmetics with the matching lip liner just in case I ever felt like wearing lip red lipstick. Then I have here two mascaras. Um, this one was not so great at the beginning, the big one, the black one. Uh, because it was a little bit too moist, but over time when it started drying a little bit, it got really perfect and it makes beautiful lashes, but when it's new, I would not recommend it. So I keep buying this one, Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara from Catrice, so it's the purple one. And then I have here a few lip glosses, so this one is super old, probably already expired, but it still smells nice, so I'm gonna use it up. And then I have here this lip product from Catrice, really lovely shade. And then I have here this one, I oh, can't even get it out, from Gosh. And that's a really beautiful brown shade. I really like that color so much. I kept also several brushes, um, some blending brushes and some different types of brushes, a powder brush and a blush brush. Uh, and I have here a few eye pencils where I think like, yeah, maybe I'll use it sometimes. I don't think so, but I'll keep them for now. And I have here this liquid eyeliner that I might use for Halloween for my black swan costume again. And that's all the makeup I possess.
The Christmas tree is coming. Hello, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Good news, the bathroom is finished and all the other work. Here we have the box with our Christmas tree. Our son is coming, he just rang the bell and we warmed up our lunch. So we're having rice with homemade seitan with vegetables. Someone's really happy. Yeah. All right, so we put up our Christmas tree. I covered the Christmas tree stand and now I have to decorate it. So let's use some editing magic. Yay! You guys, you have no idea how happy this makes me after all these weeks of construction work and having mess around. Finally, the living room looks like a living room again. So I gave away the old sink and the old radiator via a platform that's basically similar to eBay. Someone picked it up this afternoon. There's one more thing that needs to be picked up, but I washed it and put it in a corner so it doesn't stand in the way and it's just so nice. So now I will go upstairs and I will finish up editing this video so that I can finally relax and enjoy our Christmas Eve. So if you guys are celebrating the classical European way and Christmas is today for you, then Merry Christmas. Christmas. I love you so much. Feel yourself hugged. I'm sending so much love to everyone else. And if you are celebrating Christmas tomorrow in the morning, uh, we're gonna see each other tomorrow anyway. I'm gonna show you what we got for Christmas or what we gave each other for Christmas. It's not gonna be much, but some really nice, thoughtful things. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and see you all tomorrow. Bye! Thank you.